This is Lance, inventory software expert since 2006. This video was created for one of our clients, but I felt it would help many people in this YouTube community. I'm so grateful for our clients who are willing to become YouTube famous with us and contribute to the community. This recording is going to demonstrate how to clean up manufacturer orders from a long time ago, basically. I'm going to go to the manufacturer order screens. Okay, so today is January 5th, 2023, and you see here we've got all these old manufacturer orders that were never used but started. The problem is because this is started, this is allocating the raw goods. So the system thinks that you're going to use the raw material in this manufacturer order, and you're really not. It was just old data when you were first learning how to use Fishbowl. So we tried to unissue the manufacturer order. Okay, so it has this message, unable to issue order because the PIC is, has not been voided. So that means that the PIC is probably started or, or finished. So we've got to go take a look at the pick and fix that first. So we go to pick right here, to pick. That'll take us to the pick screen to show us what's going on. And yeah, see these three lines are the lines that are causing us a problem and are not allowing us to void the manufacture order and the work order uh, because it's in the started status. So the easiest way to solve that is to void the pick and voiding the pick just either unpicks or changes the started status back to the entered status. So we'll click void, and that'll take us back to the beginning. Now, the easiest way to go back to the manufacturer order, I think, is not to click on this tab or go to the manufacturer order and, and reload it. But if we click on this link here, it'll take us to the work order. That's one click. And then click on this link here. That'll take us to the MO. So two clicks will get us to the manufacturer order with an updated status. This will avoid a lot of confusion. If you do it any other way, you have to refresh or at least remember to refresh this screen. Otherwise, the system will think that it's the old status. And if you try to void it, it won't let you. It'll give you the same error message. And so you'll be confused and you'll be stuck in a loop, right? So if you use the link that I just showed you, you won't be stuck in that loop It'll, and it won't be confusing. So now we have a new fresh screen that will recognize that that pick has been voided. Now we can click on issue. It will let us on issue. Now it does this weird thing. It has a big red X, but really that should just be like a blue exclamation point or something. It's just a, a message. It's not really an error message. It says pick not found. What that means is because we unissued the manufacturer order, it eliminated or it deleted the work order. So notice under this work order number field right here, there's nothing there. Work orders only exist when a manufacturer order is issued. So if you unissue a manufacturer order, there's no work orders. If you issue a manufacturer order, that's when a work order is created. There's not gonna be a pick associated with that work order if there's no work order, right? So because we just unissued the manufacturer order, it deleted the work order and deleted the pick ticket. And for some reason, the, the software is telling us, hey, there's no pick anymore. Okay, great. Well, that was our whole point. That's what we wanted to do anyway. So that's a good message. Um, doesn't mean there's anything wrong. We wait for a second. I don't know why it's giving us that little, um, but now we can delete it. Now that it's at the entered status, sure you want to delete. Yep. Manufacturer order may have been modified by another user or manufacturer order not found. Well, that's because we just deleted it. So Another blue info um, message. So those are all the steps. Let's just review it one more time. I just explained it in, in detail there, but now let's just sort of go through it in a way that you'll do to clean it up where you just double click. Try to unissue it if you can. If you can't, click to pick. 
um, click void. That'll change those statuses. Click the link to the work order. Click the link to the MO. Now we can unissue. Pick not found, that's fine. Now we can delete. Sure you want to delete? Yep, okay, thanks. And again, repeat, double click, load the next one. Now this one's interesting. This manufacturer order says it's partial and the sales order is fulfilled, but this partial status is not accurate because this is a blue checkbox here. So it shouldn't say partial because this is a blue checkbox. So this seems Maybe there was like, a back order. Yeah, no, this seems like there's data corruption. Um, we may have to reach out to Fishbowl Tech Support to get this resolved, but it is giving us a close short button, which is interesting because the quantity is just one. Maybe while creating this, the quantity became one point something. I've seen something like that happen before where there was like a fraction of a quantity. So this, this really is kind of quirky. I'm gonna click close short and see if it'll let us do that. Are you sure you wanna close short? Yes. Okay, close short. So that that solved it. Yes, that's this should just say fulfilled, but there was something weird going on there. But anyways, we got through it. We don't need to reach out to uh, Fishbowl support to have them do any sort of database uh, cleaning there. But this next one, August 11th, this one might be easy. We just click on issue. I guess it's given us that pick thing again. So we go to pick. This one says we actually picked it. So it's locked in and this inventory is locked. Strange, it says it's in the shipping location. Or no, 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 it says it's, yeah, it's in the shipping location. We wanna pick it from there and it wants to, and it's picked to the stock location. Different scenario, same fix but I just want to explain how bad this is because not only is it allocated, but it's also sort of locked in there and you can't use it for anything else. That's why it's really important that we clean this up. So I click void, that will unpick it, click the link to the work order, click the link to the MO and unissue the MO, gives us that little sign again and delete the MO, and now it's cleaned up, and now the inventory is not stuck in limbo, it's not allocated to something that you're no longer going to do anything with. So anyways, hopefully that explains what you need to do, just repeat, repeat, repeat. This one is one of those close short ones, click close short, hopefully it lets us, great, it let us, and repeat, repeat, try to unissue. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. How will I know that I'm not deleting an order that should not be deleted? That's still a a good. I think we have to go confirm what's still open with these order numbers in here. Is my thought. Yeah. Or maybe you got a better way to do that, Lance. So right now I'm just going by the date where you know August. Pull the hard copies. Can you scroll down a little a little Once ways? Ago. Yeah, I'll scroll down. Yeah, I just want to see if it's like, yeah, it's current. So yeah, we'll have to make sure what, we yeah. have, what's up here. Um, let's change this. It's there's it's showing us two hundred of three hundred forty-seven. I'm gonna just change that to four hundred, so it shows us everything. So that's okay. showing us everything. Yeah. Now, not that many old ones or something though. If if this is actually a live order. Let's look at this August 29th here. And it's one you're actually supposed to do. Well, then the date's wrong. You're not going to do it on this date. Today is January 5th. You, If this is something you're actually going to do, then change it to a future date for when you're actually going to do it. So I think you should either delete it or schedule it, in my opinion. Yeah, it, it'll be pretty easy for us to look at. We don't have any outstanding orders from August, September, and October. So that that's 
it'll get a little hairy in November, December, but the, the other months, that, that's going to be pretty straightforward. Well, now, can, can we take a look at the picking tickets also? No, these are all the same, right? The work, that was this, a manufacturing order, correct? Yeah, this one's a work order. And now this one ticket connects those, to a work order. And a work order is a line on a manufacturer order. Okay, so that'll go away when we delete the manufacturing order, the work order. Yeah, as a manu as a matter of fact, when we unissue the manufacturer order, the pick ticket went away. Okay, that was my next question. We shouldn't have any more pick tickets than we do manufacturing orders. You shouldn't have any more pick tickets than you do work orders. Work orders, okay. Yeah. That's how to clean up past manufacturer orders. You, you're not alone. There's a lot of people that have to do this. You just watched this tutorial video all the way through. That must have been it was helpful. Click like below and subscribe to see more helpful videos like this. And if you have any questions about the content that was discussed in this tutorial, comment below and we'll respond. To reach us directly, go to brandoconsulting.com.